Hello, my dear children. Hope all of you are doing good. Today, we will do the exercises from text. Lesson number six. So before starting, we need a short recap of pronoun. So here I am going to share the whiteboard to explain about the pronoun. First of all, we need to know what is the pronoun. Pronoun is a word that replace a noun in the sentence. Like I, we, you, he, she, it, they, etc. Those are the pronoun. So pronoun are used to avoid repeating the same nouns again and again. That means instead of using the noun in the sentence again and again, so the word that we use that is called pronoun. Now we will discuss this pronoun with some examples. Let's check. Here I am going to write some sentences. Reham is a girl. Next sentence. Reham is six years old. Next sentence. Reham is studying in read two. Here I write three sentences. And every sentence I use the noun word Reham. In the first sentence, Reham is a girl. In this sentence, Reham is noun. The second sentence, Reham is six years old. The same noun I use in the second sentence. In the third sentence, Reham is studying in grade two. In the third sentence also, I use the same noun word, Reham. So to avoid the using same noun, you can use the pronoun like I, we, you, she, he, it, they. Here in these sentences, as we are talking about Reham and she is in, Reham is girl, we need to use she if the noun word is feminine you will use she so here instead of using deha we can use she she is six years old in the same way the third sentence also use instead of using reham again you can write we can write she so here Reham is noun and from the second sentences she that is pronoun. Now we will check another example. John is Staying in Doha. Next sentence. I will keep it blank. Has sister. Next sentence also I will keep it as blank. 
is very kind. So here, first sentence is John is staying in Doha. In this sentence, the noun is John. We are talking about here John. Now the second sentence is Dash has a sister. Here also we are giving some information about John. So we need to write the pronoun of the word John. As the John is masculine gender, so we need to write the pronoun he. So instead of using here also, John has a sister, we will write he. He has a sister. In the third sentence, dash is very kind. Here also we are talking about John. So instead of writing John is very kind, we will write he is very kind. Okay? So, my dear children, if you find the, uh, the noun in the sentence is neuter gender, you will use it. Or if you find the noun are plural, so many nouns are there in the sentences and you need to use the pronoun of those nouns. You can use they. So, my dear children, hope all of you understand about the pronoun, the concept of pronoun. It's clear to you now. Now, I will move towards our textual exercises. Here, I will share our text. Pathway Textual Exercises Unit Number 6 Page Number 41 Fill in the blanks with proper noun Fill in the blanks with proper noun First sentence This is John in this sentence, the noun is John. Here, we are talking about John. As John is masculine gender, so we need to write he. He is Mary's brother. He is Mary's brother. So, he is the pronoun here. In the next sentence, number two. She is my mother. She is my mother. Dash is old. So here we are talking about my mother. Mother. And mother is feminine gender. So we need to write which pronoun? The pronoun word will be she. She is old. Now number three, that is Mr. Shade. Dash is a teacher. That is Mr. Shade. Next sentence is Dash is a teacher. So here we are talking about Mr. Shade. Mr. Shade is a noun here. So instead of using Mr. Shade again in the next sentence, you can use he. As Mr. Shep is masculine gender. Number four. Mary has a brother. Mary has a brother. The next sentence is Dash goes to church on Sunday. Here we are talking about Mary. And Mary is 
girl that means feminine gender so instead of using mary in the next sentence you can use the pronoun she so till here i wrote the answer of those sentences i wrote which pronoun will be used but for the remaining sentences all of you will try to write the answers i will upload the answer key in the google classroom from there you can check your answers now we will move to the next pages that is you need to write the opposites write the opposites word first you need to read the sentence and here some word is written in the different color that is blue color so you need to write the opposite of those word the first sentence is this is a soft pillow in this sentence the word soft is written in the blue color so you need to write the opposite of the word soft that pillow is dash so what will be the opposite of the word soft opposite of the word soft will be hard so the next sentence will be that pillow is hard number 2 these mangoes are sweet these mangoes are sweet in this sentence the word sweet is written in blue color that means you need to write the opposite of the word sweet so what is the next sentence those mangoes are dash and you need to write the opposite of the word sweet in this blank space what is the opposite of the word sweet that is so number 3 ravi's house is far from school and the word far is written in blue color that means you need to write the opposite of the word far in the next sentence that so the next sentence is but ramesh's ramesh is dash so what will be the opposite of the word far opposite of the word far is near now number 4 this omen is old and weak but that omen is dash and dash here two word two words are written in blue color first one is old second one is weak and here there is two blanks so that means you need to write opposites of the both word first word is old and what is the opposite of the word opposite uh, word of this word old here that will be young old young and what will be the opposite of the word weak yes the opposite of the word weak will be strong so the sentence will be this omen is old and weak but that omen is young and strong here already i solved till the number 4 so rest of the sentences all of you will try by yourself and the answer key again i will upload in the google classroom from there you can check your answers so now here i am going to end our today's lesson take care goodbye my dear children